Hello world, it's Chatty Dad one with you today. Um, checking out, wanted to check out and see how the uh, truckers shut down page, if it was back or what. <laughs> you know, shutting down that page is the worst thing they could have done. Because now, wow, there is a lot of different pages. I mean a lot. They have way more um, publicity and support than they ever did with that one page. Now they've got all of these pages. And two, three times the amount of likes and support. So it's the absolute worst thing they could have done is to come after them, go after them like that. And the reason why they went after them is this right here. Because they used God bless America too much. I guess offending others. I'm sorry if you're offended at this, but we don't go around and uh, say that we're offended by other people speaking other languages in the U.S., by other people's beliefs. We don't go after them and try to shut them down. Or the most, most of us don't anyways. But the few others that don't agree and don't believe in God and stuff, they, they come after us. Anybody who uses that, it's so offensive to them, and I don't understand why they can't just live and let live. You know, I've heard that the reason that the South lost the Civil War is because they were not united together under enough of a common cause. There were many that observed that when the Union came in, the first thing that they did was set up a school. Not a church or a post office, but a school. That way they could get all the children into that school and teach them the same way that they believe. And the South had so many different belief systems. I mean, you had one guy down the road who was a holy roller and a snake handler, and you have the guy across the street who's a Baptist or a Presbyterian. And you know, they they left each other alone for the most part. Um, a lot of different superstitions and things like that were, you know, the way of the South. And they believed in live and let live, you know. And uh, the Union believed in teaching everybody the same things to, so that they have the same mindset, which gives them a common cause. I've heard that that's one of the reasons that the South lost the war. It's because it didn't really matter to them what others believed and what others felt. And uh, they left them be. But the North... You know, they were burning witches and all kind of stuff. When in the South, they'd, they'd friggin' tolerate the witch down the street that was working with roots and stuff like that. they you know, let her be. They'd even go get, you know, certain medicines from her at certain times. And, you know, basically, they knew what she was or he was, and they let that be. But, um... Uh, yeah, they used God Bless America too much in their stuff, and that's why they were removed. But it's the worst thing you, that Facebook could have done. Now, I find it funny. I found this picture on one of the pages. It's so 70s, 
sad to me that there are so many who are involved in these organizations who have no idea what they're involved in. No idea. They have no idea what the Masons stand for and are involved in and that they're basically working for the enemy. No idea. There are so many like that, just like so many of the um, Shriners and stuff like that. Man, they have no idea what the core issues are and the core belief systems that they have. They have no idea. And, you know, to me that's sad, but that's the way they set it up. So the bottom people don't know much, but they give their support and money to the higher-ups who control the game. But, yep, now, boy, this trucker strike page, man, they have way more than they did before. And, you know, that's a good thing. And not just that, they've now got, you know, um, general strike. Stop calling your congressman. They don't listen. Shut it down. General strike to stop buying anything on this date, along with the truckers. And here's a website. Um, I'll put the link down below to it. It's read it discussions. And one of them is what's the most evil corporations in the world. I thought this was interesting. Among the top entries are the Charity Kids Wish Network, <laughs> agribusinesses from Archer Daniels McDilland, who were caught price fixing, pro-profit scams, colleges like the University of Phoenix. Oh, yeah, big time. Big time. Sell education. And uh, you can go into debt doing it just for a piece of paper. Um, private prison firm Corrections Corporations of America. Interesting. Very interesting. See yesterday's post on private prisons. Um, Hill and Knowlton Strategies. RP firm that helped start the first Gulf War. Man. Uh, worked for Scientology and Big Tobacco and is currently working on fracking. Yeah, that's a big problem. Um, true to form for Reddit. The threat appears to have been devoted by naysayers to keep it out of the spotlight and off the front page. The threat as a whole has 13,092 upvotes and 10,963 downvotes. Where do 10,963 people Uh, come from out of the blue it's up here let me finish reading that and here's some of the uh, links now the truckers that they've shut them down here they want a little bit of revenge the United States is not a country it's a federal corporation look it up Yep, absolutely. Look it up. Check into it. Truckers to also shut down Facebook on October 11th through the 13th. Truckers are not going to use Facebook, and neither should anybody else that supports them. Let's uh, let them feel the pain. Anyway, I thought this was uh, excellent, excellent news that they've got so much more more momentum 
maybe this will teach Facebook a lesson to knock it off and to don't mess with people because like they said he, when you cut off one head ten more rises up and this is exactly what's gone down here they've garnished way more support I hope everyone's having a good day and uh, hang in there keep your eyes open and uh, do what you can to help others and help yourself help your family love one another and be good do your best it's all anybody can do your best is not the same as my best none of us is are you know what your best is love y'all much respect I thank y'all for listening and uh, hope y'all have a good one this is Chatty Dad One. God bless. Good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them. Prepare as much as you can. Buy all the ammo you can. If, where, when, and how you can. This is Chatty Dad One. Over and out.